All right, so in uh, part one, we did a little recap of the prophets, Jesus as a prophet, and we looked at people of today, where you answered people today who you think show prophet-like qualities. And I'm going to look at some people who are uh, probably recognized as uh, modern-day prophets. Hopefully, you got some of these right in the Kerhut, um, and from there, um, you might be able to explain some more information about these people um, to each other. Um, but I've got some more information here. So Dorothy Day, uh, the one on the right, Life and Legacy is a radical movement faithful to the gospel and the church, immersed in the social issues of the day with an aim of transforming both individuals and society in an age marked by widespread violence, impersonal government, shallow and interpersonal community uh, commitments, and a quest for self-fulfillment. Dorothy Day's spirit fosters non-violence, personal respond responsibility of all people to the poorest ones among us, and fidelity to the community and to God. Dorothy Day's vision continues in the Catholic worker movement that she co-founded with Peter Morian. Approximately 174 Catholic work uh, communities serve in the United States and 29 internationally. Martin Luther King, oh, sorry. Martin Luther King, uh, you might know a little bit about, was an American Christian minister and activist who became the most visible spokesperson and leader in the civil rights movement from 1955 until he was assassinated in 1968. King is best known for his advancing civil rights through nonviolence and civil disobedience inspired by his Christian beliefs and the nonviolent activism of Mahatma Gandhi. So you might have recognised these people as well. We've got Steve Irwin, nicknamed the Crocodile Hunter, was an Australian wildlife expert and television personality. His program, The Crocodile Hunter, was internationally broadcast and helped cement his reputation as an enthusiastic wildlife presenter. Unfortunately, he was killed in 2006 by a stingray um, whilst filming a documentary in the Great Barrier Reef. Diane Fossey was a well-known American zoologist that was best known for her extensive study spanning 18 years of mountain gorillas in the natural rainforest habitat in Rwanda. She was encouraged by the famous anthropologist Louise Leakey. She established a research center in the volcano as National Park, um, Rwanda, which continues to study and protect mountain gorillas today. Her 1983 autobiography, Gorillas in the Mist, became a bestseller. God cares for all human beings, of course, and speaks to all, not simply to Catholics or other Christians. And we all know non-Catholics whom we recognize as more generous more, and more compassionate, more courageous and more faithful than ourselves. Their lives and their words embody the values of the gospel with its respect for the dignity of each human being, particularly the most vulnerable and for creation. They challenge us to find in our world something more than we can possess or analyze. Although they may not speak explicitly of God or speak as part of the church, we can recognize the honor these people as prophets do. Some are members of the churches, Martin Luther King, for example, others, Mahatma Gandhi, came out of other religious traditions and still others do not have a religious faith. We'll put this link in your OneNote um, and Messages of God article. So who are these people and what do they have in common? Hopefully you recognize the one on the left as Pope Francis. Uh, these guys over here, Orange Skies um, Australia, is the first free mobile laundry service for people who experience homelessness. An idea founded in, Bris in a Brisbane garage by two 20-year-old mates, Nick and Lucas. In late 2014, the boys installed a couple of washing machines and dryers in the back of their old van and visited parks around Brisbane to wash and dry clothes for free. What started as an idea to improve hygiene standards and restore dignity to people doing it tough has evolved into something much bigger and more powerful. Malala Yousafzai, and I've probably said that wrong, spoke out publicly on behalf of girls and in and right to learn, and this made her a target. In October 2012, on uh, her way home from school, a masked gunman boarded uh, her school bus and asked, who is Malala? He shot me on the left side of my head. 
I woke, eight, woke up 10 days later in hospital in Birmingham, England. The doctors and nurses told me about the attack and the people around the world were praying for my recovery. Greta Thunberg, I'm sure you've heard of. In May 2018, age 15, Greta won a climate change essay competition in a local newspaper. Three months later in August, she started protesting in front of the Swedish parliament building, vowing to continue until the Swedish government met the carbon emissions target agreed by world leaders in Paris in 2015. She held a sign that read, school strike for climate and began regular, regularly missing lessons to go on strike on Fridays, urging students around the world to join her. Her protests went viral on social media and as support for her cause grew, other strikers started around the world spreading with the hashtag Friday for Future. By December 2018, more than 20,000 students around the world had joined her in countries including Australia, the UK, Belgium and US and Japan. She joined strikes around Europe, choosing to travel by train to li limit her impact on the environment. Rosie Batty name, um, name has become synonymous with courage and resilience. Only hours after her son's life was tragically taken, Rosie gave voice to many thousands of victims of domestic violence who had until then remained unheard. Rosie rose above her personal tragedy and the great loss of her 11-year-old son, Luke, who was the victim of domestic violence at the hands of his father in a very public assault. Rosie's ability to articulate the train of events that had led to this tragedy had demonstrated the wider implications of her experience. Now a tireless campaigner, Rosalie established the Luke Batty Foundation and launched her Never Alone campaign, asking all Australians to stand with her and beside all victims of family violence by signing up to neveralone.com.au. Les Twenty Man has been a, on the front line of heartbreak and hope for over 30 years. As one of Australia's best known youth outreach workers and social campaigners, Les has developed his expert opinion the hard way on the street. Les is widely considered an expert on a range of community issues, including youth homelessness, drug abuse, prison reform, and social welfare. He's the first stop for Victorian and national media outlets for the world word on how it really is. He has featured in hundreds of television, radio, and print press and interviews, and has been a regular newspaper columnist article con contributor. He also features in a number of documentaries, most notably the Ohio gun buyback scheme, LA Gangs, Can We Help, 20 Minutes with 20 Man, and Heroin with the Hype. So there's a few examples of different uh, modern day prophets that you might like to choose one to learn a little bit more about, um, or you might have one that you want to look into yourself. So your um, activity now is to uh, spend some time researching um, a person, create a profile, what's the issue they're raising, why are they raising this issue and what motivates them to speak out? I'll add a couple of other questions um, in the OneNote as well.